We've received loads of requests about CyberX on tour, so we decided to make you guys a mini documentary to see life backstage. This segment was um, filmed at a family festival and is low fi quality. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out our website for future releases and we hope you enjoy the video. So uh, here I am in uh, Cornwall, we're going to uh, be playing a festival out here. And uh, as you can see behind me, is, um, they, they just shut down for this evening's gig and I'm setting up for tomorrow. What we have on stage is a uh, preparation of uh, the Cyberx rig. The man Hello. does all the um, most AD. immense AV, yeah. So, uh, so he's going to be like taking care of all that tomorrow, the launch. It's going to be awesome. He knows, he knows his stuff. <laughs> I've been checking him out. What's your documentary for? Um, oh, check it out. Check it out. You, you'll probably be able to buy a copy if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to buy it. There you go. <laughs> Make my own. Yeah, so, so what we're doing now is we've got a purpose-built uh, purpose uh, drum riser. It's uh, at least 12 foot across, about 8 foot wide. Uh, we are backstage, if you look behind me, this is the lighting room. Over the back of here is all the drum pools and the crew are sort of in preparation for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to crack on this, the tech team and I, and uh, within, uh, within about an hour we should be closer to having the rig set up. So uh, we're on uh, phase one of the build. Though. Let me introduce you, <laughs> folks. Uh, this is Tim. Tim is the stage manager actually for this uh, specific event. He's, he has organised the special rig, of course, the special um, uh, stand, uh, the uh, riser, that is. Hey, happy days. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we're just getting it ready, nice and early, so that tomorrow we don't have a rush. So I can work through the night and get everything working because it never works, and then we can do it tomorrow and it will be good. He's pretty, he's pretty spot on, and uh, we'll probably see Tim uh, on the next uh, set of the shoot as well because he'll be active uh, lining everything out back to the uh, stage desk, of course, and, and the main house desk. So uh, thank you very much. Yeah. See you later. See you later. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. That's awesome.
not theirs. And uh, battle wounds over there, as you can see. You know, all day on the drummer thing. And uh, the kitty was pretty cool. And uh, we've got uh, the guest artist that sort of had a go and everything. So uh, we'll catch up for a while. Thank you. Hello, so here we are back again in the, um, in the nerve center of video control. Well, I'm going to hand over to, uh, to a colleague. Uh, um, my name's Chris, I'm a freelance cameraman. I do a lot of uh, like BBC and other things like that. I've worked with Ed for the last couple of years. Um, so what we've got going on here is we've got uh, four cameras on this particular show. Um, 
currently they're not all set up because we're in a downtown area. But you can see this is uh, basically what goes out to the big projectors. And this screen over here shows me what's coming up next. So for a typical kind of side rec show, uh, it gives me a DVD logo or it's got some stuff on things. But usually I hit play on a DVD recorder, a DVD player, which previews the logo and a mix of logo across. We have the side rec logo, which then goes to all the screens. Um, and then once that's gone on and there's a big like build up of lights, build up of power, and then cut to camera two, which is like a big wide shot, and then a full circle in the middle, and then come up to some close ups as well. We can just cut along these cameras. We've got loads of inputs, so you can do quite a lot with it. Um, have full cameras that move around the kit, uh, make it look good, and record it, and give you a copy at the end, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool because there's quite a lot going on. Yeah, you know, during a show, during a standard set, whenever any band's playing, so uh, Chris will be quite quite active. You know, you'll be with his hands on and uh, and that's yeah. uh, obviously uh, setting things up there. Uh, so, there. There's sort of an idea, and he'll be uh, sort of like not to, things on. not to disturb, really. You know, <laughs> sort of. Uh, also got a monitor here, which is just a mix room uh, front of house, so I can hear because obviously being backstage, you will get what's on the stage, get the monitors and not the front of house mix so you can hear what's going on. And these guys uh, obviously tackle everything on a very uh, on a very improvised basis, you know, because it, uh, it's it's pretty um, pretty fluid. The whole thing keeps changing all the time, and he's obviously having to uh, impact that. And I would usually use emotion dive, and, and on that um, unit, uh, you know, there's a lot of improvisational adding and subtracting of videos, clips, and stuff like that. And uh, Chris uh, would be handed that responsibility normally to take care of um, of what's appearing on the screens. It's all triggered. But you would be adding elements into it. So, uh, yeah, it's loads of fun. Yeah, just say the, um, the difficulty with this is I've got a broadcast vision mixer here, which is great. Um, and you can vision mix for TV, which is simple, but then you've got vision mix for screens. But I'm also recording here, so I'm kind of mixing for a live event, mixing for TV, basically. You have to be um, careful with what you're putting up on screen and how it's going. Just be careful with the audience, really. So it's uh, quite a challenge at times. Uh, Chris is he's, He's got to get some sleep because he's going to be on stage in a while again. He's got to, he's got to sort of tackle the whole uh, set again after a week of gigging, isn't it? I mean, wow, thanks, uh, Chris, man. Cheers, dude. Cheers. Thanks. Hey, we're in the production office now, and uh, we're looking at some pictures from the uh, the official f photos, festival photos, and we'll get to see these pictures on the web, no doubt. We'll be back here for some hot roast later, hopefully. <laughs> And that's what, so all the artists having a bit of a chat, some of the artists, of course. This is a long-running festival, so through a week you've got about 150 artists come through there kind of thing. We're now going to start the process of taking it down. Here we are at the, uh, the packing end of things, there's still lots to do, but uh, uh, this is the cyber rigged box. It's... <laughs> <laughs> you what, eh? Video crew can't take any of them anywhere. <laughs> um, and we've got like all the SPS and everything. It's all custom made. We've got um, triggers, our trigger bay obviously over there. I don't know if you can get a shot of that. All the manuals um, for each of the items in case we have any failures. Uh, video triggers. Basically, yeah, everything is now sort of laid out on the floor. Uh, this is all this hybrid stuff that's getting ready then to. Uh, to be back to uh, back into the tour van. Once we got this all ready, we'll be uh, on our way. A few days. Thank you very much. Signing up.